Hi everybody, so following the previous video where I showed you how to hide the breadcrumbs on your site Some people asked me that what if I want to show it on my single product page On my category page and hide it elsewhere For example on shop page So I'm going to show you how to do that Hopefully this video can help you uh, solve the problem on your site If it doesn't help you then you need some more advanced advanced uh, technique So let's get started So first we need to hide the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to inspect the element uh, Down to the bottom And you see here Still, WooCommerce breadcrumb is here. So I copy this, and first I hide it. I hide it for every pages. So I'm going to admin, host, and go to appearance, customize, and go to additional CSS. And as you can see, we hide it with this, this CSS rule. That means uh, element with class WooCommerce dash breadcrumb display none for all pages. So I paste it here and click on publish. Now go back to this is the category page. Reload that. Breadcrumb is gone. It's gone here, and reload is all where it's also gone here. So what? What now? What if you want to show it on single single product page, just like this page? So I inspect the element again, and we need to find the class for single single product page. So you see in the body here. In body tag here you see that we have a class called single product so the rule to display breadcrumbs here that means single sorry single product with the space then this class copy paste it here and the rule would be display block. Copy this. Go to the customize again. Paste it here. And click on publish. Now go back to this single product page. Reload that. And definitely you see the, the breadcrumb is back. Now go to the the category page. Right click, inspect the element, and take a look at the body. And we see that there is a class specified for category page, that is tax dash product underscore cut. So I copy this, and this is another selector copy this part paste here now copy this copy go back to the customizer paste it here and publish now if you go to this category page reload that and sure enough you see the breadcrumb appears and go to the shop page nothing okay so that is how you can hide the breadcrumb on other pages but display it on single product page or category page. You can apply this method to other pages if you like to. So hopefully the video has helped you with your case. If you still need help, please let me know. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.